Hello, this is welcome. Ah, uh, I do this every time. Hello, this is Red McNed, and welcome back to the saga. This is another trip down this area. We are back. We are back underneath the castle. As I just kind of look around, um, we had the labyrinth sort of going on in here. And it was winding down through the uh, the areas. This is the. Uh, ceilingless hallway or whatever endless ceiling and then it needs to go somewhere here and just in case no one knew uh it's it's not really ceilingless it's all it's all an illusion it's all a grand big joke it's none of this is real none of this is real just be in the corner because none of this is real so like i said i want to keep the journey going and this episode is just continuing that so I kind of had this line here before, just as a, a little bridge get across. But I want the hallway to continue here and start to kind of go down here. So it'll be the uh, the three wide pattern, probably like before. A little tunnel. And we'll see what happens at this area. Does this look different? It should. So a few loose ends have tried to fix up. Uh, one is, uh, well... Just filling this in with uh, <laughs> cobble. I, don't know. I got kind of lazy. Some of these, like there's this one. This is the other side passage. Uh, I, besides having like little bits of gravel and kind of stuff here and there, I didn't really know what to do. So I just kind of, for now, put a rock ceiling and cobblestone walls. Just sort of uh, 3D if I did a little bit. D if, whatever. So maybe those might turn into something else, but for now I just I'm sticking with the program. The program being just uh, a straight shot right through here into this hallway. Oh, one more thing. This room, right? Well, the area in here that goes into it. Uh, this was supposed to be a broken section also, but I didn't know what to do. So I'm probably just gonna do what I did with the other one, where I put in a rock ceiling. And then some kind of cobblestone-y stuff. So let's get the ceiling in first. All right, so maybe not just a ceiling. It's sort of like a box shape that kind of follows this. Uh, I'll make the corners a little bit more better. That's probably all that's necessary. Just a little scattering of, uh, of stuff. And then down here, I think at this level, a base level of a uh, cobble. And that can meet up with these walls. Alright, that sort of like completes the basket or whatever of uh, the uh, the end of this. So then the next part can be just kind of scatterously uh, throwing things in. And as much as I think it looks cool with the snow, it doesn't make any sense. Like this is underground. I might actually want to fill this in with more cobble. The main reason is I wanted to look kind of like it was a, a cave-in scenario, or this probably did go further, because there are steps here, but it just, clearly some, uh, the times were not, not kind to this, uh, this tunnel. So actually what I really should do is a couple bricks here and there, a little bit of that, just to, uh, Show that it was trying to be a tunnel, you know. It was doing its uh, doing its hardest, just couldn't cope, or whatever. All right, though. But now onward, onward and onward to the main attraction. So this tunnel is uh, three by three, going for uh, well, that's how the space is. And I went in two, three, four, five, six, seven, and that's where the turn is. So there's three here, four, five, and then I start the descent. And the descent is obviously into madness, because what else would you descend into? Let's see if I can... Uh, there, there we go. So this is um, kind of similar to the the makeover I did with the mine shaft, where I had sort of like a, uh, a cylinder that kind of goes down. And as I dug down, I would uh, take out little notches and then bring those down so that it isn't just perfect on all sides. Or on the way up, I would I would build that up. So here actually we can we can take a look at a 
Oh, this looks like it from the outside. So yes, this is like a cylinder. It's going to be one of those... Uh, it's going to get the same treatment as this. I think It's going to be a, a topless uh, cylinder. And it's also going to have the same effect going down. But I might make it really deep. Just so that if, uh, if, I, if it was so inconvenient to fall down there that I'd rather just you know, be dead. That's, that's really uh, an unfortunate statement. But in the game of Minecraft, maybe like... That's a that's the thing. I want it to be uh, you know scary, kind of like, uh oh, don't want to fall, you know. And if I didn't build a way out, then maybe you'd be stuck down there. So these stairs, I guess I could uh, put them in, and they'll do their thing. Uh, also, these torch, the torches are gonna be uh, kind of a big deal because. They'll cast the shadows, and that's how I like to build off of. But before I do that, I want to make sure I know what I'm doing. Because this is supposed to come down here and go straight across here, but there's this pit. So I'm thinking either I try to have an opening there that keeps going, and some sort of a parkour thing to get across, like you know, some, some bits of this that are still around, like this is kind of hanging off here. Or I could have it just break off entirely and say, well, you can't go further this way, but there's like a crack in the wall here. And then maybe I can have this diverge somewhere else. So that's, uh, that's where my thoughts are right now. So I figured out what to do with this. Maybe added like a couple more stairs here. You know, took out, took out a stair there just to show that it's kind of fallen apart. I decided to have it continue on that side too, but sort of accentuate the fact that this section is in fact broken out and I want it to look like crap well I don't want it to look like crap <laughs> uh, I want it to look like crap I can't get across the other side darn shucks you know that sort of thing um, but if you're astute you say oh it's kinda of bright over there and if you turn around you say hey wait a minute there's a spot over here so the the investigatory type would be like, oh, let's see, ooh, and um, here's behind the scenes going on right now. But basically, there would be a cave going along here, and who knows? I might actually have like a mini scene in here, like maybe a little waterfall that runs down that you can't go down yourself, but it will lead into that. Maybe another indicator that there's a an area over here. Um, actually, that'd be a good idea. Have like a waterfall coming out of there with like light showing. And if you're over here, like, oh, there's another clue that there's something going on here. And have that go in the abyss. But yeah, you go around here, and the hall continues. Now, uh, a couple notes here. At this point, it should be business as usual. I tried to go for the same height, ceiling, and floor as over there. It's three wide. But I did a few things to make it look more uh, weathered. For one thing, I, you know, every once in a while I'll put like a stair or something. I uh, took out some of the higher bricks and put gravel in for some of these. Or like spots where it's missing, stuff like that. Um, I wanted to have this kind of caved in area here. Uh, so I just made sure to bring the the gravel all the way up. To, just so it looks like it could go on much higher than it actually is. And I kind of liked this. This little uh, snug area over here where you just kind of go through the... Uh, it almost like it guides you into here. And, you know, just... I guess I keep... I kept in mind the fact that the stairs... Like, if this was a full block, if no corrosion happened... That's not what I wanted to happen. Uh, <laughs> it'd be like this. But since it did happen, I could do things like take that stair and turn it into a half slab. As long as I'm taking away and not adding, then it seems pretty good to me. So enough of all that. I'm going to continue this until I decide something should change. One thing I like, though, is that this feels like we're already really under far underground here like having these big uh, chasms and the path just keeps getting lower and lower in fact we're only at level 90 and sea level for reference is like 67 I believe 
So technically we're still above sea level, although it seems like we've already gone down really far just because we've uh, taken our time. And I think that's cool because that means that there's a lot more descending we can do and make it more dramatic. So that's let's let's just let's just see where this goes. I've decided that it would be really cool if we went back to the village, back to the clock tower, back to the village and showed you what I've been up to because it's been a little while since the last cut. So we're back here and we haven't been here in a little while, but here's the lovely uh, place. You might notice something's different. It's a little bit different. I changed the floor into wood planks. And if that was all that was different, if I said it was all different, I would be not telling the whole truth. And I'm gonna, you know, cheat a little and kind of peek down here and see what's going on. What's this? A whole nother level? Whoa. So apparently, there's a secret area in here. Or there is one now. But in order to get in or out, we have a lever right here. I would like to keep it secret. I don't know, I guess there could be another way to get down from up here. But I'm content with just dropping down here. But yeah, when the lever is not pulled, you, as you saw before, the, the floor is completely flush. This is going to be a secret way out of the castle. The castle is going to go all the way to the clock tower. I'll throw this wide open. No secrets. This is just a really quick and quick and dirty... Uh, the levers on the side of this block in the front, which powers this. There's a torch that's always on. And that keeps the pistons out. So when it gets uh lever gets done, the whole thing switches. Yep. That sounds not confusing at all, right? So secret once the secret's open though, I can show what I've been up to. I took this column and brought it down. Ooh, I should talk about that. Before I go too far, these, uh, well, you can see it from here. This floor is only half slabs, bottom half slabs, and then it has the wood beams. These are t three away from each wall, so there's two in here, or each corner, and they kind of make a uh, pound sign in the middle where this is, and then there's another half slab at the top of the beams, and that is sort of, oh, scary where the top gets held up. There's this long ladder. And I guess if we take it all the way down, this is like a construction area. That's a beacon that I've been uh, I've been using, my pyramid scheme. And I've been uh, digging around. Oh, that was convenient. I've been digging, <laughs> I've been digging around. Um, and I made this little floor here. This is gonna be the end of the long pathway, or at least one of the pathways underneath the tower. So, uh, these tunnels are just here to be the tunnels. They're not fancied up or anything yet. But this is uh, sort of the... We're going backwards through the journey now. There's going to be a branch off section in here where there's going to be something really cool that way and something really cool that way. There's nothing there yet, so you're not missing out if I don't go down there. But it's got the same distance between this row and that row and this row and that row way down there are torches of 25 blocks total. I just thought it would be good if it was uniform. But this, I guess, where, where are we at? We're at 31 right now. There's going to be things on the other side of that, but I don't think I have time in this episode to do those. All right, definitely don't, actually. Because uh, between you and me, this is uh, Thursday that I'm recording. This is supposed to be the day it comes out. This is a bit of a long walk here. But we'll just, you know, try to move along, carry on as best as we can. I'm thinking that this is going to be sort of a more caverns type area with uh, some bridges and stuff. But eventually it has to get to this level to connect with those that stuff over there. I'm not sure how yet. Uh, maybe I don't have to know how. I don't know. I do eventually, but there's going to be another elevation drop here. 
And there's going to be another section here. These might be... I don't know. I don't know what these are going to be. It seems too plain just to keep it as tunnels. But... Oh, I found that too. That was kind of fun not to fall in. This is almost connected. We're almost connected. Nearly there. It's actually a lot of stairs. <laughs> Oh, there we go. So this is where we left off. This is where the uh, drop is. You don't got to see that because it's already done. When I was digging here, I thought, oh, let's see what's over here. I'll just make a, make a little turn here. And I saw, oh, this goes out the front. So actually that ramp down, it goes like perfectly... Um, I pro I almost couldn't have planned it better. It, like it's covered perfectly by this uh, piece that just juts out here. Like, is that perfect or what? Like, <laughs> and then it goes down and it does its thing underground. And this, the ground here is higher than the ocean, which gives more room for uh, cavern type things. And I think it would be really cool if we kept this opening on the side. Not like open, open, but as a secret entrance. So it's, you know, it's perfect here. Like maybe if we uh, did something like that, I would have to find another design for a three by three flush door. Someone might have it somewhere. I have the two by two just in case, but this is all centered pretty and stuff. Like how could I not, you know? But I remember seeing this earlier and thinking, oh, that's kind of cool. It's like really close to the wall on the side of the castle. So we might actually be able to use that. <sighs> so, that's what we got. I go back to the town. So, uh, yep, that's that's what I got. That's what I got for this episode. It was nice taking a break over the holidays. I needed that. It had been a couple of months, I think, since my last one. And, you know, as a result, I wasn't working the whole time. I was actually literally taking a break. Um, that just meant that uh, there wasn't a lot of flashy things to show in this episode. But a lot of that stuff had to be done, and it was kind of tedious, digging the tunnels. A lot of it was figuring out where the coordinates were, making sure that nothing was too close to the ground level. You know, the stuff that's uh, not incredibly interesting, but it's crucial to... Uh, you know. Oh yeah, I didn't want to um, hit any of the cave either, like the, the mining facility, so that's why it kind of snakes around on this side a little bit. But that just means that all the that, uh, that other stuff is out of the way. It's gone, it's out of the way, so that we can do cool stuff from here on out. I think it's cool that, that the castle now connects with this, because then this gets to be sort of the thing that ties into the castle. Like, the reason why it's kind of similar building material and nothing else is, is maybe, just maybe, just maybe. Hear me out on this. It may be as old as the castle itself, and maybe even made by the people who made the castle. But for real, though, I've run out of time. So I have to. I'm going to have to call this episode for now. That just means... That since my break's over, I get to work on it all this week. And hopefully it'll be an awesome show. Or an awesome episode. Or whatever you would call these. Uh, next week. So tune in. I'm going to be building some interesting things. It's not going to be a bunch of me walking around showing you what I've already built. Hopefully I get to do some of it on camera. So until then. This has been Red McNed. I don't know why I hesitated there. Uh, am I? <laughs> And this has been The Saga, and you're welcome to join me next time.